Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. I think I just passed gas. I think you did. Are you offended? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> My nostrils are. Oh, now you should be. <laughs> now you should be. We have a story about a woman from, of all places, imagine, Florida, who is accused of pulling a knife on a customer because that customer <laughs> passed gas. I can see where she's coming from, though. Was it you in the store? <laughs> Don't be a victim. <laughs> it's on the next Men Are So Smart. <laughs> so, Ronnie, usually when you pass gas in public, it results in blushing and embarrassment. Not for me. Not always. But one Florida woman ended up arrested over this ordeal. Yeah, Shanetta Yvette Wilson, who's 37, from... Uh, Dania Beach, Florida, was waiting in line at a Dollar General store, which is where all the best people hang out. To be sure. When she passes, when she passed gas, the customer standing by her, John Walker, allegedly took offense, and the two got into a verbal dispute in reference to the defendants forting loudly, according to the Broward County Sheriff's Office. In response, Wilson allegedly. <laughs> pulled a small lockback knife from her purse, opened the knife, and told the victim... I'm sorry, it's not funny. He's twice a victim. She was going to gut him mm. over a fart, for God's sake. Nice. According to the report, she pulled her right hand, she pulled back her right hand, which was holding the knife in a position to attack the victim. Yeah, according to the affidavit, Walker was in fear that he was going to get stabbed by the defendant. The woman was found by deputies walking in an area near the store and identified by Walker, uh, probably by smell. <laughs> She's this way. Keep going this way. <laughs> oh, wait, that's broccoli. <laughs> she was arrested and taken to the Paul Ryan detention facility uh, at Papano Beach. They didn't like her there either. No, uh, she has been charged with aggravated assault uh, that could be with either the fart or the knife, uh, with a deadly weapon with intent without intent to kill, and her bail was set at twenty five hundred dollars. Wow! You know we used to. So when I worked at the jail, uh, our jail was like fifteen floors, but they were we really had it broken down to eight floors because our floors were double stacked. But uh -huh. uh, and you can't control the elevator. You get on the elevator. And one of the control officers who's watching on video says, what floor do you want to go to? And you tell them what floor. So everything's on video and, and microphone. And so you get in and you're stuck. You have to just go to the floor you're going to. My biggest thrill in life was as I'm getting off the elevator to rip a nice big one. Oh, yeah. Leave it behind. Leave it behind for the yeah. next person getting on because they can't <laughs> open the door to get out. You're stuck. Yeah. I, we called it hot boxing. So oh I, my God! I did like to hot box the elevator at the main jail. Oh geez, that's yeah. my partner. <laughs> We're all so proud of him. Uh, it's it's a <laughs> gift. It is a gift. Really. <clears throat> yeah. Next up today, Oakland woman. That's a neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Arrested for allegedly biting jogger. Ronnie, take it. Okay. So you have to picture this. Well, let's just read this. An okay. Oakland woman is, who is accused of biting a jogger following a confrontation over the woman's dog has been arrested, according to authorities. Alma Callwalder, uh, who's 19, was arrested by East Bay Regional Park District Police <laughs> after investigators interviewed her at a police headquarters last Friday. The arrest came a day after she allegedly assaulted and bit a female jogger who had just fended off an attack from the woman's dog with pepper spray. Park police said the jogger was later accosted by this Codwallader person on the trail who allegedly tackled and punched her multiple times. Uh, as she attempted to push her assailant off of her, the jogger was bitten on her forearm by her attacker, causing significant wounds, and it is an, it's an ugly bite. Uh, it's, it looks wicked. Police say the incident took place at 10.25 a.m. Thursday on the Goldenrod Trail between Chabot Equestrian Center and the Oakland City Stables. So, 
when I first read this story, the headline said, uh, woman, uh, boy, what did it, it, it was a little bit misleading. And I, I assumed that the woman had been bitten by a dog. A uh, woman in, you know, dispute with dog gets bit. So, well, she got bit all right, but she got bit by the dog's owner after she pepper sprayed it. That's weird. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got rid of it. Okay. So, she's... Oh, that's, oh, that's better. Perfect. So, she's on this trail... Uh, I can't remember if it said she was walking her dog or she was just on the trail when a woman with two dogs approached her. The dogs, who probably were not on a leash, got aggressive with her and she pepper sprayed them. And shortly after that, she got in a tussle with the dog's owners and the dog, uh, not the dog, but the lady bit the pepper sprayer. Dang, I tell you what, I, you know, here's that bite. I'll show you that bite right there. It is. It's ugly. I'm thinking looking. I would not want a hickey from this woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's got a grill, man, because that, those are some, man, and it's all the way around. You know, I have to think that she'd have been better off if the dog had bit her. Honestly, probably would have been. Yeah, human mouth is not a clean, uh, not a clean environment. Wow. Uh, so the police have said that the lady was in, in possession of two dogs. One was like a Rottweiler mix, and the other one was a tan or yellow dog, so probably a lab or yeah. something. Yeah, or a mix. Yeah. yeah, but still, you know what? This just goes, like I, said, I watch a lot of Judge Judy. I think I've said this before, maybe a hundred times. you got to keep your dogs on a leash. You have to be in control of your dogs. You can never walk your dogs uh, legally. They have to be on a leash six feet or shorter. What about a dog park? Uh, dog parks are different. But even then, if your dog is aggressive, which mine is, uh, should not be in there. So, and my dog is dog reactive. Turns out he plays nice with dogs after a nice introduction. Uh, but if you don't have a nice, if he sees a dog just charging at him, he's going to charge right back. So, you have to have good introductions. Uh, dog parks and my dogs pro aren't really a good mix. Yeah. But you, they don't have to be on a leash. My, my dog is just too territorial. Uh, yeah, and that's kind of the same thing with my dogs. My dogs are very protective and also a little bit territorial. So, mm. yeah, dog parks. And my my daughters have a my daughter has a dog that they take the dog park, and he's a little bit of a bully, but he's uh, he's in English and French bulldog mix. And he has an underbite. <laughs> I don't think he could bite with any significant, you know, he's not going to be able to injure another dog with his bite. The lady could do more damage <laughs> yes. than your dog. Now, if my daughter your bit dog. you, yeah. yeah, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> no, not her. <laughs> this lady. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. A short one. Appreciate it. Uh, you know what? Keep your dogs leashed. Yeah. Okay? That's the best way to avoid a huge lawsuit or a... A blaring scar on your arm. And if you're going to bite someone, make sure you've got your rabies shot. For sure. Yep. And this person, you need a cap on T4. <laughs> yes. She needs a little dental work. I can tell which are her front teeth and yeah. which are her bottom teeth. I mean, the yeah. The she needs teeth. a partial plate right there. There's something. She's got something going on right here. <laughs> that look good. I think that tooth's crooked. Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye. <laughs>